Howdy folks, well we're back again, hopefully uh, for the last time this afternoon. Uh, normally I wouldn't do this, but I thought since you all lived through the uh, uh, the agony of getting that this bowl kind of in shape, that I would take a few minutes and show uh, with the first coat of finish on it. This finish is called uh, Zinzer Seal Coat. It's a sanding sealer and I have a small brush that I'm going to apply it with. Uh, and I'm going to do this. In fact, that probably is a little too, it's going to soak up that first. This wood is very, uh, very porous. I've begun to use this. Uh, it seals up the wood and it dries. Uh, very rapidly, but for a first coat, uh, I think it does all right. So this uh, th th this will be dry in an hour or so. But I typically leave these things for a day. dry so fast that, that uh, you want to be sure you get it get it coated. You can see how how dark the wood turns uh, once you, once you put once you put some finish on it. So this is the beginning of the final touch. Uh, once this dries, we'll sand it lightly, and then uh, most likely uh, put on uh, tongue oil, uh, at least uh, pro probably three coats. Uh, there's other finishes that, that you could use. But it's, that's a personal preference. I kind of like the tongue oil. It gives a nice, bright, glossy finish. Maybe we can move this camera over here just a little bit. Using a brush like this helps in these areas where there's these voids that are, uh, you know, tunnels that have been carved by the insects that you can't really get into with uh, with the rag or, or paper towel. this on and let it go around here a little bit. This gets tacky really quick so you don't want to mess with it too much. Now it's, 
be anxious to see what the what the, uh, the contrast between the cherry and the white. Uh, I could have used a, another wood, I suppose, but I kind of thought that might be a nice contrast. cherry is much more dense so it, it will it will soak this up but at uh, quite a bit of a, as a, of a slower rate Project. What's left to be done is to uh, get about three more coats of the finish on here and then uh, turn it around and cut, the, cut that tenon out of there and uh, finish up the bottom. But uh, that shouldn't be very much. Probably gonna be about it. Oh, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, I'm beginning to think it was probably worth the the effort. Uh, the hole in the bottom. Need to be fixed, need to be addressed, so uh, we got that done. So uh, now the question will be is if the, if the color contrast, uh, if it makes sense. Maybe it's a little too, too gaudy when you get it done and it's set somewhere on a shelf. We'll see. At any rate, that's it for this project. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.